Hello everyone, I'm Larry Anglisano, reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer Magazine. And in this video, we're going to look at the Dynon Skyview PFD Suite. It's a dual screen system that's appropriate for both the LSA and experimental markets. We'll get a detailed look at the operating logic and a quick look at some installation procedures as well. The expandable Skyview system is available in a variety of configurations from a single 7-inch screen to dual 10-inch screens with dual ADAHARs, battery backup, and dual axis autopilot. Now the screens are crisp high resolution LCD that we found easy on the eyes even when splashed with bright sunlight. They're also designed for lower power consumption. Now that's good for LSAs that may have marginal electrical systems. User input is via durable bezel mounted buttons and these joysticks that, well, took us a bit of getting used to at first. But still, the Skyview has fast processors and that results in quick screen redraw and brisk menu hopping. Dynon keeps the menu structure reasonably shallow and unlike other integrated glass systems, the Skyview is about three layers deep. But that's not to say Skyview isn't loaded with data, it's rich with information. Think of each Skyview display as having three screens in one, with primary flight instruments including electronic HSI, user-selected synthetic vision, engine instruments and fuel gauges, and high-resolution terrain mapping and navigation functionality. You can even configure the position of each piece of data on the screen and toggle that data on or off with a dedicated screen layout soft key. The way Skyview presents its engine data through the Dynon EMS 200 engine management system is impressive. The interface is cross-compatible with popular engine models from Rotax, Continental, and Lycoming, and we like the ability to custom configure the presentation of the engine gadgets on the screen. Here, the installer can change the size, format, and on-screen location of a given engine gauge in an easy to use configuration menu. And when it comes to moving maps, Skyview comes standard with basic topographical map display that shows TAWS like terrain color coding and basic active waypoint information when driven by most external GPS units. But the addition of Dynon's optional GPS module and navigation mapping software module really steps it up adding an integrated GPS navigator that allows for on-screen navigation. This mapping software and GPS module adds $700 to the package price. Now, that's a good value, although we wished it was standard because it enables a complete aviation and obstacle database. That'll display airports, runways, nav aids, airspace, obstacles, and other aviation data on the crisp moving maps. Speaking of options, Skyview has a fully integrated and impressive autopilot when it's interfaced with Dynon's optional microprocessor controlled roll and pitch servo. An optional remote mode S transponder is controlled on a PFD in a dedicated transponder window at the top of the screen. This saves space in the radio stack and can add data link traffic. We found a transponder function user friendly with direct squawk code entry using buttons on the bottom of the bezel. When connected to a WASP GPS, the Dynon transponder will output ADS-B through a 1090ES extended squitter. Other traffic alerting options include Garmin's GTX 330 TIS transponder and the portable Zion XRX. Skyview works hard to keep pilots out of trouble with some smart features like an optional angle of attack system that uses Dynon's pitot tube. There's also an integrated electronic G-meter that shares space with the PFD's electronic HSI. The color-coded G-meter can be configured to appear automatically when G-loads exceed a pre-selected threshold. The remote components that are part of the Skyview, including the ADAHARS module, GPS receiver, air ink converter, and optional batteries, are designed with a small footprint to respect the tight spaces that tag along with most LSA airframes. To cater to home builders, prefabricated wiring harnesses are available in various lengths, and the system uses durable and familiar connectors and installation hardware. Software loads are easy too, with USB ports that are built into the chassis of the displays. Now as impressed as we are with the Skyview, we have just a couple of nits to pick 
including the lack of satellite weather and electronic chart integration. Dynon is still working on these features that buyers are sure to demand in a glass cockpit with this level of sophistication. As you can see, the Dynon Skyview is a very capable system. It's got a deep operating logic. And it's also priced pretty competitively at about $10,000 for a dual screen system. For more information, you could read the 2012 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglisano, and thanks for watching.